Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Mi 11X or the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews. Here is the Android version 14 project matrix here. Mi 11X Aliot N Android version is 14 here as you can see and the version is 10.2.0, the matrix version. Device maintainer Rockstar 007 and January 5th, 2024 is the latest security patch available and baseband version kernel usually is 4.19.246 no kernel has been used this is January 10th build guys you can see January 11th build date and build number you can see this is a matrix OS and this is a typical home screen and this is the quick settings man let me decrease a little bit of brightness and here is the automatic brightness toggle that's how it looks like yeah this is the toggles if you turn on any of the uh, quick settings it will show the animation as you can see that's present here Dolby Atmos support is a dark theme extra theme if you want something others you can check out here these all the options you get and smoothness in the UI I mean in terms of quick settings panel it is very very smooth in my opinion now app active status you can see here see the animation how quick now in the Android 14 dialer you can see here you will get this kind of different dialer here if you can go into settings and see there is even uh, no call recording is not given here uh, other settings as you can see there is no call recording whatsoever but this other dialer you get in this particular room you also get pre-installed gallery application here and there is even an audio kind of effect here i mean you can play the oxio it's not audio or oxio you can play the audio files present and game space is also available if you want you can add the game from here other things will be showing you within a while and this is the home settings you get some things like this as you can see icons you can customize as you can see icon pack again if you want to install any app you can directly apply there icon size font size max lines for app level and app drawer again you get themed icons even in the app drawer as you can see it takes only one app is converted into themed icons uh, that option has been there that's i want to show you force monochrome themed icons let's see now everything will be in the themed icons before that you need to go into wallpaper and style here enable themed icons now this will make everything into this theme really good uh, in some of the ROMs it's not available only in few ROMs it's available widgets again I have already using this widget if you want you can customize them wallpaper and style again lock screen customization it remains similar to any Android 14 kind of styles you can adjust the size of it dynamic small color also you can adjust and even this intensity of it you can adjust here shortcuts and again more lock screen options you get these all the options present here uh, looking into wallpapers into the home screen uh, on device wallpapers you get some pre-installed wallpapers here too this is the home screen and everything i will be seeing some results here starting with geekbench score as you can see so 1033 is the single score and 3030 is the multi again Linux 4.19.246 no kernel has been used and that version is 14 here and i have run the cpu throttling test that's a hundred third test as you can see maximum is 308 average 232 and minimum is 186 and it's to 63 percent of its max performance for 15 minutes case there is a huge drop in the graph starting from uh, green to red it's drastically getting decreased here and this is the anti to benchmark score anti to benchmark score is higher here 8 lakh 18 and temperature raise was around 7 degrees celsius and one percentage of factory has been dropped safety net status it will get passed and l1 certified and these are the sequential read and write random read and write speeds with graph this how the results what i got and we'll go into settings very soon from here as you can see the smoothness in the ui is really really good i really like that kind of smoothness in this particular rom matrix settings again about matrix you will see these things here buttons again you get click to partial screenshot if you want that power menu again advanced restart button and other things you can customize here and call long press or touch some of the things you can customize them in terms of buttons and lock screen again clock font style you can change a plenty are available that's more than your media cover art and filter battery information weather settings and some of the other things you can add on the lock screen miscellaneous again high fps count you can enable there and unlimited photo storage in google photos you can do that 
and other things you can see on the screen again navigation again navigation bar if you want to revert back to that you can do that layout invert layout and other gesture action shortcuts you can do from here notifications again you get these kind of customization quick settings again there are plenty of customization here too you can customize them and sound again you get these kind of options here nothing more status bar again there are some positions you can add the logo like this you can even position them and you can even select the colored icons and battery style and other things you can do on the status bar those customizations are available now moving into actual settings starting with the battery life as you can see you get the thermal profiles here as you can see individually you can choose that battery saver again uh, you can schedule them out and turn off when 90 percent that is also there and this is all the battery life as you can say it's quite good i can say it's not bad or anything like that but definitely it's not an great battery life kind of ROS kind of forms but still it's good i can say battery optimization is given here for certain apps you can make it out but extreme battery saver is missing in this particular arm sound and again vibration you get spatial audio using wired earphones but you need to use that connector uh, let me know in the comment section guys how many of you use uh, wired earphones for me 11x like me i mostly use wired earphones or else the realme wireless to neckband or sometimes even earbuds also but majority of the times i try to use the wired earphones and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like here we go dolby atmos is available and you can watch this video my current video in dolby vision actually but youtube won't support that but hdr videos you can watch it out this video is currently playing in hdr hit that like button for this case dialogue enhancer as you can see we'll get that equalizer preset you can do preset to defaults and again direct sound enhancer you get plenty of options here too you can select the this one sound preset i'll go with bass booster here and headphone type youth edition and select the scene yeah video because i'm video making guy and hi-fi audio system those things you can do that clear speaker option is also there into the display again you get plenty of options here to into the dark theme there is the option of pure black as you can see if i disable that it will be not in the pure black i mean pitch black condition it is taking some time but enable that it will be in pitch black condition just like that and display size and text again this will revert back to accessibility settings we'll be checking that very soon colors again i kept saturated there are plenty of options here too and peak minimum maximum everything keep it 120 tap to wake and tap to sleep let's check that yeah even face unlock was very quick there yeah dc dimming is there high brightness mode this don't use that it will drain the battery and make your device a little bit warmer so definitely don't use that um again wallpaper sun style it revert back these settings already explained security again face and fingerprint unlock as you can see just touch it it gets unlocked very soon and even face unlock as you can see it's also very fast to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlock i really like the speeds here check out other options here app lock uh, app lock is also currently available which is quite good here i really like it uh, safety and emergency and password and accounts digital well-being and parental control and moving into other settings like system into the gestures into navigation mode gesture navigation as you can see you can adjust both pill length and radius which is a handy feature i definitely like it out and other settings remain same here nothing more updater is given but i recommend to flash through recovery recommended is orange fox recovery if you want you can use twrp also but my recommendation is always orange fox latest recovery there's all the settings let's see app opening times as you can see it's very much fast i can say everything is very much fast it's flying in the uh, ui here everything is very very fast as you can see this all the recent apps very much fast this ui is you can definitely try it out as a daily driver guys i have very good recommendation towards this particular room let's say bjma how it handles and what all the graphic settings we as get. you can see guys the graphic settings is set to smooth and 90 fps you can even play in ultra hdr also but recommended is smooth plus 90 only those who want to play the game uh, they know that but it all depends upon personal preference if you want uh, like if you're a youtuber uh, gamer you want to show some montage or anything like that then you can use ultra hdr option also where is this guy okay let's take in before that i need to enable this peak and scope yeah okay i'll take him and down. oh oops 
this how gaming here it's a little bit difficult for me i am seeing the screen actually not this screen the recording screen a little bit difficult for me always i'll definitely try it fun that's it uh, what teammate took him uh, the gaming experience is fine here uh, you also get real time fps count i haven't enabled let me enable see multi touch isn't working or not this is how the quick settings pan looks there is a button but for some reason it's not activating uh, cancel here yeah now it was working settings enable high fps info okay the gaming experience is fine here around 60 fps it's getting in the fps count here but i enable smooth plus 90 only as i said i will take him this time i took him again i will take him let's see okay now i'll come back here to lengthy the game plays anyhow this is the matrix os it's a very very smooth guys i haven't expected this much smooth ui for me 11x or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 the ui is very very smooth even gaming experience is fine you can definitely try it as a daily driver check out my whatsapp group available for me linux or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now